is Mr. Bernie Cotter. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Bernie. He's got a rebuilt MAF, and I don't want to do a rebuilt MAF. These rebuilts are a really bad deal for us, and I'll explain why in a minute. But basically, rebuilt has problems. That's what I equate. I told the dude, he's already had two. This is the second one, and he had the original one on there. He no longer has the original one. I had him call the parts house to find out if we could get it back, because I want to get back to where I started. It's gone. I told him, go get, go get a new one. He says, I can't. It's $700. He already released this car to his customer. They've paid for it. This is on this shop. Okay? So he can't go. He already put a rebuilt one on for $200 rather than the factory original, which was $700. Do you see where he is now? He's stuck. I called a junkyard a salvage yard. Apologize. I do a lot of work with these guys. They had the car. I called them. I told them, do you have a used one? He said, yeah. I told them, go get it. And I went across the street to the tranny shop and I, I diagnosed a tranny. And then when I was done with the tranny, he had that math sensor. So I went over and I put the new one. So this, this is the rebuilt one and this is a good used one, right? That he got from the salvage yard. I'm going to put the good used MAF on. I'm going to do the same snap test. Do you see how I'm four volts now? Did we change something? I know that. Now this is a real quick, dirty test. I want to make sure we understand what I'm doing Calculated here. load uses several things. Calculated load uses two things that aren't desirable for us to be using. Standard air pressure and standard temperature. That means that that equation always has standardization. 70 degrees air at sea level. Well, what happens when I'm at 5,500 feet and it's minus 30? Does that work for me? So calculated load doesn't always work because it has two standard numbers in there. And how big is the number? Well, we saw the air temperature's huge in changes, right? Please ask questions. Let's not pass this stuff because you know what's going to happen? You're going to go back to your bay and you're going to say, God, I had a question I should ask it. I have been in the audience. I have wanted to ask questions and I have been too afraid. There's no stupid question, guys. There's a question that needs to be answered so you can utilize this technology in your bay on Monday. I am here to help you guys. You gotta understand. I am a mechanic like you guys. I'm no different. I owned a shop for 29 years. I got my teeth knocked down my throat every day. I had cars in my bay. I didn't even want to go to work because it was there. It was there for three weeks. And that black car's still there. And you know there's nobody else that's going to fix it other than me. It's tough. But what I'm going to tell you is we make it hard. Honest to God, we make this stuff way harder. I am responsible for making it harder on myself. Back in the 80s, I didn't have the understanding. Every bit of knowledge is gained for you to do better. I've come to share some knowledge that took me 35 years to understand this. I had such a problem, I started a tool company because Snap-on and Mac and these guys don't understand it. They're an engineering firm that all they're worried about is getting you some scan data. That isn't what I need. I'm not saying that I don't use it, but I need another level. I need something I can fix cars with fast and accurate. I mean, I had a very successful shop. I had eight techs, 10 bays, 30 years under my belt. I stopped doing that so I could come and help you guys, because I know where you are. If you're willing to put a little bit of effort in, your return will be magnificent. You will not believe it. I used to go to work and dread the car that's there. Now I can hardly wait for the hardest car in Albuquerque to go look at because I'm going to knock the ball over the wall. Just like you guys are going to knock the ball over the wall. Use the techniques. They work. Thank you so much for all of your time. Have a great day.